Greetings, it's Mr. Solomon with another edition of Minecraft EDU for Schools. Today we are working with a group of second graders. This is day number four, our last day of the week since I'll be absent tomorrow. And we're learning how to spell words in Minecraft. So we always talk about the standards. We always review the Minecraft rules. We have 25 computers in our room that have Minecraft installed. So I make sure students know how to follow the rules. We always go over basic controls and then we start playing Minecraft. So what we used is a mod called Letter Blocks. So this is the large workspace which I've used for lots of different activities. Uh, days 1 and 2, Monday and Tuesday, students use Letter Blocks to spell colors. So we started with colors and the uh, expectations for this activity is whatever you spell you can use to build your structure. If you don't spell the words, then you can't build with those inventory items. So this is a good example. So they have all of their items. On day two, we added interior inventory spelling. So bed, glass, door, and so on. And so now they're working on a house. And then if we go to the next group, we can see what they did. So we have different types of red, different things that come in blue. They wanted to build with diamonds. They wanted to include lamps. Looks like that should be gold, so I can show you how to fix this. So, if I go to my inventory, there is a special mod called Letter Blocks, which I'll try to include a link to on the description. And then you have uppercase letters and lowercase letters. So if I drag one of these blocks down into my inventory, and then left, right click, you can see how it can be added. So, students did a nice job spelling all the words. So Monday was color spelling. Tuesday was uh, building item spelling, and then Wednesday and Thursday, they got to start building those structures. So if I click my inventory here, choose the letter E, choose that, and then I can add it. So we're just going to fly around and look at all the different structures and what kind of spelling they did. And take that one out. So students, it's a really good way to practice spelling because it makes students find the right letters piece by piece. They also are learning how to use inventory items, how to search in Minecraft, and then how to spell some words. So the more words they spell, the more items they can include in their house. So we're just going to cruise around and look at every one. That's the first set of groups. I'm going to pop over here and look at the other set. Uh, a great way to learn how to spell. See, they wanted to add a beacon so he can put that on top as well. Okay, I'm going to go check out some of the other areas here. Large workspace includes 32 different 50 by 50 areas. So there's plenty for every student in the class. And there are border blocks around here, so once they teleport to these workspaces, they cannot leave. So you can see, this is a house that has some items, and then on the inside, they're putting in some of the couches. I should see a typewriter soon. Hi, Marcus. So, they did a nice job spelling. They're working in pairs. So that's one of our 21st century skills, is communication and collaboration. So students are working together on these. I see some item frames in this house. That looks good. Uh, I'm just going to cruise around so you can see some of the words the kids have spelled and what some of these structures look like. This is a good one. Because one of the instructions I gave was houses cannot have four sides. So we're trying to get students to think beyond the typical box type house, which is a rectangle or a square, and getting them to be a little more creative. So as we continue to cruise around our areas, I want to try to show you everybody's work. That's group 23. So I see gardens here. That looks nice pool and gold, so they get to spell some of these bonus puzzles and bonus or bonus uh, materials. Although I don't see any gold yet. I see flowers, but I don't see the word flowers. 
So I may have to talk to, oh yeah, they have a garden, see? So they use garden. So that'll work. That's a good idea. It's another idea of a large house. So I think I'll do some of these activities next year as well. Getting kids to practice spelling. It's a great way to boost literacy and learning how to spell words. So that's why I'm doing this. So we'll start at the end of the year with second grade and the next year maybe I'll start introducing this with some first graders. Thanks for watching.